What's up guys, Johnny Chase here and welcome back to the club and if you're anything like me and I know I am, you probably had this reaction during the Nintendo Direct last week. Capcom versus SNK. Ah, what's happening? Capcom versus SNK. What? This what? Project what? Justice. <laughs> Capcom. No! Versus SNK Fuck yes! Mark of the Millennium 2001. Is this true love we're making? Justice. No! That's right, Capcom did it again. We're getting Capcom Fighting Collection 2 next year. And also, too, they sweeten up the pot by telling us uh, that in a couple weeks we're going to be getting the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. That's killer. And what's even crazier is as of recording today, the Marvel vs. Capcom Twitter just announced that they have worked with their partners at Microsoft and Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection is coming out for the Xbox One. They figured out how to get that MT framework working again. So hopefully we will get the Capcom Fighting Collection 2 on Xbox as well. Hey, I'm okay with the delay if we can get it on everything. You know, Microsoft, if you're just an Xbox user, you shouldn't have to, you know, miss out on this just because of some weird framework. I mean, my, me, myself, I'm going to be getting it on the PC just to be on the safe side. But because of this initiative, I'm definitely picking it up on Xbox. I prayed for this and it happened. So enough of that. We're going to talk about something else. So we all saw all those reactions on YouTube and TikTok and all that from, you know, various creators, myself included, freaking out over the Capcom Fighting Collection 2 announcement. But then we got to a certain game and everyone had this reaction. <laughs> what? I was gonna get rid of it. Delete it. Put something else in. Fighting evolution. Okay, time to fight with the evolution. Oh, holy shit. Alpha three. Yo, this is. This one's so cursed, but I, I, you know what? All right. Hey, even I was guilty of this too. Capcom fighting evolution. Uh, but then I stopped to think. I'm like. Well, is that actually my opinion or am I just going off everyone else's thoughts about the game? Because I didn't put a whole lot of time into the Capcom Fighting Evolution game. So I don't really know if it's really as bad as people say it was. Now, prior to what I'm going to be doing here in a second, uh, Maximilian actually just put up a fantastic video explaining to people why Fighting Jam slash Evolution is so hated. Uh, in the FGC uh, linked in the description below if you want to check out Max's video But I figured I just wanted to get a hands-on approach with fighting evolution I have it on my ps3 I'm gonna boot it up and we're gonna play around with it for a little bit and see You know where all the hate is coming from also too, I should point out that Mac McMuscle did a great what happened on on a fighting evolution So again his video uh, link in the description below if you want to check that out as well if you want a more uh, editorial style video as to you know why the FGC hates this game, but uh, as a FGC uh, scrub noob, whatever you know, someone who just plays them casually for fun. Uh, I'm gonna boot it up again and uh, see if uh, the criticisms are warranted or not, or if it was just you know I was just going with the trend. All right, we're in this now. Man, so again, this is what everyone kind of scoffed at. Like, ah, no. And Max's video kind of explains it because you've, so you've got, you've got characters from like different franchises, right? Four each. And I think there's like a fit. Oh yeah, um, Ingrid. She's like brand new to this. We got dark, dark, stark, dark, dark stalkers. No Morgan. That's kind of surprising. You got Red Earth, and you got Street Fighter 3. There's not Third Strike, though, I don't think. Uh, let's go with Basic Bitch Ryu, as we always do. This is the kind of thing I don't like, is that, like, you know, there's a whole lot, like, these PNGs are, like, so cut off, it's weird. I guess I'll take Guile as my, um, as my uh, tag partner. Now, Max explained this in his video, where it's, like, it feels like it's like an official Mugen. Like they just took sources from different games and did called it a day. That's funny. I picked Street Fighter 2. Yeah, this is his CVS 2 sprites. Yeah, and they, the way Max described it is that like, I mean, you're picking people from different um, franchises, but you're at a disadvantage. So right now I have a super meter here uh, from Super Street Fighter 2. 
But if I'm going to play against someone from Third Strike, they've got their own meter. We should show up and, you know, we can hurry up. <laughs> oh, I think I had to select the other character. All right. I don't know Guile moveset, so. I'm not good with chargebacks. I'll just, I'll just punchy punchy my way out. This is weird. Like, there's no tag. Like, you, it's two v two, but it's not. Good job. I probably should pick someone I know other than when I don't. And I have noticed that, like, like it's not very snappy when it switches between things. So, like that, right? If you notice there, like bringing in the high score, it's not that fast. Okay, this is gonna mess me up completely. Oh, well, I mean. Okay, so if Sakura is going to be from the Alpha series. Yeah, because she's got a percentage bar down there. Oh, I should have done a button check. I should do That's my buttons. All right, I want to see if I can just stick uh, Ryu for the next fight. Okay, I hit two punches. Oh, there we go. Oh! Let's do it. Oh, it, it, it doesn't feel good. And like the artwork in the background is so different comparative to like the sprite work in the front. So you can see Honda and I think that's a Biki. I didn't play a whole lot of um, Red Earth when it was on the first fighting game collection. I really should. Yeah, I can see like the, the level one bar looks way off comparative to like just the regular. Okay, like, I think, like, Max had, Max had a right on the bed. This is just, like, a unofficial Mugen. Or an official Mugen. Which, nothing against Mugens. I love those projects. I love that, uh, that people are making their own games there. But, like, in some instances, you can tell that it's not, like, balanced, though. Especially with this. Like, you can tell it's not balanced. Oh, I whiffed that. Damn it. And from the footage I've been seeing online, uh, we were denied a Capcom uh, real fighting jam. That was like an actual like all-stars version. That's our problem. I'm Street Fighter 2 Ryu, so if she decides to do her level 2, I can't, I can't uh, die go out. Die, die going out. I can't Evo 37 it. By the way, man, fucking Evo, like they're calling it Evo Moment 38 there with that. That Hugo Perry. Evo was so hyped this year. Oh god. Mm. We're almost in trouble there, but I got it. She decided to switch it up. Okay. I thought was, did you taunt me? I can do that too. See that? Uh -huh. If I get that arena at a point, is there is one there where someone's like, they had T-Hawk in there? But they drew uh, Ken's uh, third strike animation over him. Or not animation, but this like win card. And we wait, and we wait, and I mash, and I mash. That's strange that he like starts off with meter like that. Does, it, does the meter transfer over from player to player? Oh, 
Oop. Oh no! He jumped over it. Yeah, he did his shit. Okay, I can skip these. Alright, this is the big boss. Why I'm Guile already? I don't know. Oh, ye. I'm your clone. I copy everything you do. Oh, shit. Maybe not. Oh, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. ow. Is that an infinite? It looks like that a bit. Oh, you've got. You've got Magneto slide tackles, don't you? Oh, God. Sonic Boom! Ah. That's all I know. I really should learn to use charge back characters. Oh, man, you got teleports. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going back here on that, and I'm picking someone I can actually use if I if they if they switch me. All right, we gotta put our differences aside to you know crush this fool. I mean, yeah, like the, the artwork they use it, it just cuts off everywhere. Like you can get them to go into Photoshop and increase the canvas size. Oh my god, stop teleporting! Are you Ganon from the Zelda series? Yeah, say if they ever turned Zelda into a fighting game, that'd just be one Ganon's one move, teleports. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Ah! Nope. Nope. Could you sit still for two seconds, please? Oh, yeah. Right. You got me leaning in now. I got that lean on, man. Let's try hard mode now. Let's go. Could you stop for two seconds? I beg you. What? Damn it! Are you? I don't know if y'all saw it there. He was spamming footsies at the end. Jeez. But I'm just gonna keep doing this. If you get hit, it's your own fault. I get nothing for complete photos? What? The guy do it without uh, continuing or what? <sighs> the comic strip slowly peels up. Alright, I. Find dark, dark stalkers. He's like, woo! I'm like, ready for Shingo Hadouken. I was done with the dark stalkers. Now I'm going up against Gil. Or I think that's Gil. I don't know. Saturation is a little off. Yeah, that's Gil. Get that ass banned. Yeah. It's uh, the online edition uh, guilt's banned. Like, you can't pick him. And I think he's banned from, like, like, 
like tournaments in general just because of resurrection. Okay, these backgrounds got a lot more saturation to them compared to what I was actually playing on. Like, all right, I'm gonna shut this down. And I'm gonna give you my final final thoughts. All right, folks, that was uh, Fighting Evolution, and you know what? It's um. Yeah, it's pretty mad. I my, my my reaction was justified. It doesn't do anything really special. It's just like I feel like Capcom released this just to have something. Like they were in like this weird quarter of the year, and they were like, "We don't have anything." Um, slap together this fighting game and throw it out there. I do believe that it was a project that was abandoned, but then uh, Capcom gave the green light to to release it anyway. And man, they really shouldn't have. This is. This is not very good. Like, when you look at the stuff that um, came before it, uh, you know, CVS 1, CVS 2, uh, and the Versus series, like, they were, riding, they were riding high. These games were great. Uh, and then you get this, and you're just like, well, what happened? I mean, we all know what happened. You know, link in the description below. We just talked about it earlier. But yeah, this was, like, released during the dark times of Capcom and fighting games. Like, there was, like, nothing really too spectacular or groundbreaking or... Uh, competitive out there for people to play. Uh, you know, this is just... I don't know what this is, honestly. All I can say is it's not good. Now, why this is going to be on the fighting collection? I mean, because they can. Because, you know, it's Capcom. They can do what they want. But, like, just to know that we're getting so many uh, better fighters on this next coming collection, like CVS 1, CVS 2, Power Stone 1 and 2, uh, even though they're not really traditional like 2D fighting games, they're, you know, 3D um, arena fighters, but these are still fantastic games which you guys should check out when Capcom Fighting Collection 2 comes out sometime in 2025. Uh, until then, we'll have the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection coming up in just a couple of weeks here, uh, and then sometime in 2025 on Xbox for us to, uh, you know, get our fighting game grooves on. What do you guys think about Capcom Fighting Evolution or Capcom Fighting GM? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and also be sure to like and subscribe. Because uh, believe it or not, uh, there's like 90% of y'all that are watching my videos and I greatly appreciate them. But none of you guys have clicked that subscribe button. Please do. I mean, it would mean the world to me if you guys would uh, join us here at the club. Because I got more fun content coming your way. But until then, I'm Johnny Chase, and I'm actually going to boot up some CVS2 and uh, get my uh, groove back on with that. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Later.